step away. Chaplin's praying. Can't you see? Angels coming! Run for your lives! I'll not give her up! Not on me life! They hear us squealing! They'll kill us and take her all the same! So I'll slaughter her myself! Hide your corpse neath the floor! Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In cape, vodka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see. Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf! Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. What we share around won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Who are you? Oh, I. And why do you care? I like to know who I'm drinking with. Just like you. We're the Baron's men. And you're in his land. A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving, too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no, he's not allowed to piss his britches in the side of a black-winged head. This is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want it. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage them to speak their mind. To your health, and mine. Bottoms up! If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. That's them and us. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I see he'd probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Orson's always managed to hide their lasses. Thought he'd outsmarted me. Maybe he hadn't. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Hmm. Great change. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, 
some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. That the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Temerian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Thanks. Farewell. cellar on a hot day. Be whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over.
Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that, ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. He could do naught but moan. terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. wasn't plundered. Hut wasn't looted. These weren't raiders or thieves. Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. 
Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri, thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. 